Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. It's Friday, yay! This plan with me video is a no kit plan with me and I'll be using this paper pack from Paper House Productions. It's their be happy theme and I just fell in love with the color, the pink, the black and the gold. So I thought I would use this for my this week's plan with me. It comes with a sheet of stickers, which I rarely see that um, at Michael. So that was pretty interesting when I picked it up to look at it. And had all these journaling cards too. Usually some paper pad might have like a page or two, but this one had over three or four. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And obviously I had my 50% off coupon, so it was a steal deal. After going through this whole paper pad, I've decided to just use the journaling cards for this week's plan with me. Along with it, I might pull some stickers out from the Mambi sticker collection here, all of this. In this video, we're planning on April 3rd to April 9th. Let's start planning! These are the paper sheet I just pulled out from the Paper House scrapbook pad and I'm going to cut them into size. I picked up three patterns, solid patterns, and three or four <laughs> journal quotes. So, and I think this should be more than enough to do a weekly spread because I do not want to introduce too much pattern into the weekly spread because then it will look very overwhelming. So I'm going to stick with the triangles, the cross, the diagonals, and the dots. Here are some washi that I pulled out for this week's spread while I was trimming these journaling cards. For me, I like to start from the bottom up, so I'm just going to add, do my bottom washi here. But while I was laying this down, I do not like how the little back inks on the page is showing up through the wash it so I'm going to use my block through label and cover that. It's easier for me to line up my washi pattern on the label itself and then cut the label into size. I went to trim the washi off camera and here I'm just going to place it down at the bottom. I also went ahead to trim down the journaling cards into full box size to fit into this week's spread. These square scraps were, are actually scraps, but hopefully I can use them also for this week's spread, but it's just there. Time to play around with the design and the layout of how I want each pattern to go. And once I figure that down, I'm just going to use my double-sided tape and tape the cardstock down. I don't like using glue that much because I find with glue it gets too wrinkly or that it gets too sticky, so to me, double-sided tape works the best. But everybody's different. Got this tape roller at the dollar store for a dollar, so uh, honestly, you can't go wrong with this. I don't know if you guys caught on or not, but with the last scrapbook piece, I, instead of placing it on Saturday, which it was originally, I decided to place it on Friday, because with Saturday, I want to do just a whole block of weekend And I'm going to finish the layout with just the simple stripe washi that I used at the bottom of the page. Here I'm going to create a border <coughs> or a section where I know I'll be putting my weekend banner. Next I'm going to work on the sidebar. With the sidebar I did pick two patterns. One was a light pink with the polka dot which I actually used in my last week's spread. Um, for my spring theme, I figured I have 
this scrap piece might as well use it but I also pulled out a black and white polka dot one that matches it too but I do want to add some warmness and also color to the spread so that's why I picked the pink one over the black and white one I am applying it using my sturdy double-sided tape again <laughs> I'm going to trim off the end off camera and here it is because it's going to be an uneventful week for me this week because it's all about printing and cutting and packaging I wanted to use these journaling card as a filler for the week just to make my week look like I'm, I'm pretty busy so here I am just playing around with the cards and how I want to lay them out As you can tell by now, this is going to be a scattered plan with me. When it's a scattered plan with me, the first thing I like to do is to put my to-do list on a Monday because first thing, Monday, what you need to do, the most important things to do for that week, you put it down. On Monday, my little guy has a city craft program to attend and I'm going to do some groceries while I'm out. Not to mention that I did schedule my new release for last week but couldn't finish it till this week and I'm gonna upload the video on Monday and it's gonna go live on Etsy too. Also for those of you who did not watch the new release video there is a mini giveaway too. I'll add the link in the comments below and if you haven't watched it or entered into the video please do so it does end tomorrow at midnight really don't have much to do this week nor any events because I don't like booking events when it's my cut and print week so it's just going to be a list of things to do those two days. On to Thursday my little guy has a play date group that they are actually coming over to our house. I think there's four kids coming over so we're just going to do a play date group here. And I'm also going to take that day to do a little mini Ikea shopping because my daughter did ask me for an office space. But we're just going to get her a little table for her room. She's only four. And Fridays, that's when I usually do do my or film my plan with me for next week. And for the weekend, this weekend banner, I got it from one of the Mambi's sticker value book. Weekends to me are my family time that I spend all weekend with. So I'm just going to indicate that with one of my new release stickers that says family time. 
weekend for us is also going to Costco as a family because my kids just love the samples that they provide at Costco and they just enjoy it even though it's crazy busy on Saturday but I find that the more often you go you know what to expect and that it doesn't get too crazy and because I'm not a really good handwriter I decided to create this uh, Costco script handwritten sticker sheet here that I could use in my spread and it looks super duper fancy and it's one of my new releases too. The bullet dots that you see me using with throughout this spread is actually from the Mambi Sticker Value Book too. My little girl has two city programs to attend. On Saturday she has gymnastics and on Sunday she has creative dance. Once I've done all the major events, I go back to my to-do list and start just planning what I need to do for those week. So this week, as I said before, mentioned before, it's all about print and cuts and packaging. Friday, I forgot to add a ombre heart check box or a check flag, so I'm just gonna cut one of my ombre heart check boxes in half because there's not much to do on Fridays except to mail out some orders and run. And lastly, before I start doing my sidebar, I have to put in my meals of what we'll be having that day for dinner. I'm going to use one of my meal plans functional sticker sheet here and just debating where I should put these stickers. For me with the meal plan sticker I like to place it in a straight row because then I know what I'll be preparing for that night or buy groceries for. I also like to use my meal icon stickers, the cow, the pig, the chicken, so that I know which protein meat we're having the day before or the day after so we don't have, you know, two or three chicken three days in a row. I find it makes planning your meals easier. Now on to the sidebar. I'm going to flip through one of the Mambi's a value sticker book here to look for a quote that I could place along the side of the bar. On the sidebar, I like to track my weekly habits and usually my weekly habits would be my running slash training and my medication that I have to take daily. And that's it for the sidebar. Next, I'm just going to go through all these quote books to see if I could find any sticker that would just fill in some spaces. And time to fill everything in. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out my new release video for the mini giveaway because it will end tomorrow and I will see you guys next week. Happy planning. Bye.